Good morning, YouTube. Um, it's super early, and I came out to check and see if any of my plants that I transplanted yesterday died. And it looks like they didn't. This is my transplant garden, and I'm going to show you where I'm coming from. Oh, the ground is wet. <laughs> So this is my original spot, and I transplanted the, I don't know, snap peas, I guess, and I transplanted the random stuff that was over there. We don't know how exactly all of it got there. Some of it we put there, some of it ended up there. And um, I transplanted from over there in that corner, by the roses, the transplanted some tomatoes. Basically what happened is this tree right here, this dogwood, went insane and grew like a million times what it was supposed to in this little this thing. So we've got all that done. So a lot of this will be coming up. The corn's gonna stay, but I'm gonna take all the greens out. It should be horrible, to be honest. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Roses look beautiful. They're like the annual junky roses, but they're pretty. Let's take over here. There's my strawberries. There's my strawberries on right now because as soon as they came up, everyone ate them. There's my potatoes. And they're doing good. And I've got some, oh, and I've got some uh, bell peppers in here that are doing pretty good. And some onions. These are just my little bitty ones. I'm going to take you over to the compost bin today. I could put stuff in it, but I thought I'd show you how gross it looks right now <laughs> as the ratings look to break down. So, be warned. Looks about like that. <laughs> but so, I'm a good poet. I paid $4 for this orange bin at um, Walmart. And we just stabbed some drain holes in it on the sides and the back. And so far, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> so, there's our little fire pit out there. But for the most part, I'm going to go back over to the transplanted bits. For the most part, things have been going real good with the garden this time, even though we don't have a lot of sun. All of our sunflowers grew, and I even have watermelon plant. These are just some general flowers. And here is the dug up soil from where I um, took up some of the tomato plants and the green peppers. The bad side of the roses. So. So needless to say, I think we're having a fairly good season. Um, it's still early, and the things I'm transplanting should do pretty good. So here's a garden update. Oops, a garden slash transplant update. You know, there's a huge turnip. <laughs> That's strange. And all the corn is doing well. And there's the transplant site over there. Got a lot of work to do, but it's going to be worth it. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. So. But, you know, it'll be worth it. So, I was thinking, anybody have any suggestions for um, my growing this year uh, because they're transplants? Has anybody transplanted them right out of the ground to another ground infection? Um, this thing was much more sunny before, and now it's you know, if they're not growing, they're a stand so I had to move them. Um, so any suggestions, that would be great. And uh, hopefully everything works out for us for our crops so we don't lose them. Happy homesteading.